<laughs> Identity is shaped by that. <laughs> it will, it's a really good opportunity. A lot of your life is dependent on what you do every day, and one of the things we do every day is go to school, and I think that really helps shape who we are. Um, what about you? Do you think you fit those stereotypes? Well, of course I'm affected by the high school I go to, and my identity is shaped by that, because it's a place that I spend eight hours a day, maybe even more than that there. There's like stereotypes about art schools, but you know. The stereotypes are everybody's gay, or they're gay and they don't know it. Um, everybody's artsy, and they dress crazy. I uh, don't think they you can define typical for almost of the arts. That's another good thing about it, it's the people here. They're accepting and the, I don't know. It's a lot of diversity. Talented. <laughs> Different. Different. Yeah. <laughs> basketball there, so I go there for basketball. What about going to city? Did that, do you think that shaped your identity of who you are now? Yes, it did because on, on my way to college, like my freshman year, oh I'm still a freshman now, but like when I first got there, like the first weeks and everything, just me like having the status of being a graduate of city, it put me in like a higher position over like the other students at the school. I think I've shaped Polly more than they shaped me. <laughs> city got great athletics, you know. If you're trying to start a career, that's a good way, right. you know, it's that. a good foundation, you know what I'm saying? I mean, wrestling, yeah. football, everything. We got music, we they got dance, we got art, they got all As far as education, I love it, but I love the girls too. The city's way better. You're smarter, faster. <laughs> City losers. <laughs> People who suck. <laughs> What about you? Do you think you fit those stereotypes? Yeah. <laughs> I think, I mean, every school has, I mean, every school is different, so, but if you, in all actuality, in some cases, we are all the same. One day, our descendants will think it incredible that we paid so much attention to things like the amount of melanin in our skin, or the shape of our eyes, or our gender, instead of the unique identities of each of us as complex human beings. Franklin Thomas.